Oh, landmines and jellyfish. Welcome back to Knives, I guess. And we never found out where Cotton Eye Joe did come from or where he went, did we? No one's giving me an update on that. But today we're taking a look at another Timu haul. Um, the wife, of course, going through and picking stuff out for me. And we got a decent little batch. We'll separate the good stuff from the trash. And to kick it off, we've got this browning knife right here. And, of course, we got a round thumb plate, which I like. I don't have one of those, or I do now. But the round thumb plate, we've got a liner lock. We've got a pocket clip, which is tip up, and that is the Lord's Carry. And this blade looks like it's a three and a half, maybe a little over three and a half inches long. And this thing feels like it's going to be a pretty good carry. Like, it's got some gravity to it. Like, it is heavy, but all the corners are broken down. Everything's rounded off. This should be a nice carry. Nothing's really sticking out. Um, this should be really comfortable. And uh, everything about this feels pretty good for a $10 to $15 knife. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have no problems carrying this. It's just going to be down to the durability of the edge on this one. But I like what I'm seeing here. That's two pretty good browning knives so far from Timu. We got this little guy here, a little gentleman's knife. Um, I'm assuming this is all aluminum. And the blade claims to be D2. You got a flipper tab. Feels like it's on bearings. You got a liner lock. Pocket clip is tip up, which is the Lord's carry. And this one should be pretty comfortable. I don't feel anything egregious that's going to dig in too much, except for maybe this lanyard hole right here. This edge is really sharp. We're going to see how that does. But uh, I, I like these gentlemen's knives. This is kind of like the CRK TCEO in the, the shape and styling. And I do like that kind of knife. Um, and the pocket clip feels pretty skookum. It's not the deepest carry, but it'll carry pretty deep. Um, the next one on the list is this weird little purple guy. And another gentleman's knife shape however this garish purple and silver contrast can't really call that a gentleman's knife but flipper tab i think this one is on uh washers and the lockup is really really strong on this it's probably gonna have to get broken in a bit but it feels like it's gonna be an okay carry um this point right here might dig in we're gonna see about that not the world's deepest carry but it's deep enough and uh it came with this little, little leather sheath for i'm not entirely sure what reason but i have it and it's on a snap ring, which probably ain't going to hold up to much abuse. But, ooh, yeah, this one's going to take a little bit of uh, getting used to. And, of course, getting used to that lock. But we got this purple dealie right here. Now we're on to two complete pieces of trash. We got this browning right here. And when we looked at the pictures, it looked like it was going to be an assisted opener with a liner lock. And, eh, um, this thing is so tight. You can kind of hear a little bit of a squeak on these bushings. Like, this thing is as tight as it can possibly get. And when you flick it open, there's no lock whatsoever. Like, this notch here makes it look like a liner lock, but there's no lock. Like, this is absolute garbage. It is going back from whence it came. I, d I just can't even. Like, I literally cannot even with this. Gabbage. And then we got another nearly identical one that also looked like flipper tab. Nope. It is a nail nick, and it's a slip joint. So that already fails it on a couple of fronts. If it, if it would have had a lock, I could have technically allowed it. But um, I don't like nail nick knives anymore. I've gotten too used to flipper tabs, and I've gotten used to automatics and stuff like that. I have been spoiled absolutely rotten. But those are going back from whence they came. And, of course, we're digging through more Timu and the things I will do for my 24 views. But that's the Timu haul. Again, I'm going to plug the subscribe. We're trying to hit 1,000. We are slowly making progress on that. Thank you so much for the guys that have subscribed. Um, thank you for the new guys. Thank you for the guys that are commenting and making this more fun for me because part of the reason I'm doing this is I enjoy it. And all that being said, y'all have a nice day.